So we're here with Shane Shalin Campbell, two-time world Muay Thai champion who hopes to be making his MMA debut coming up soon. Um, why don't you start at the beginning and give us a little idea about yourself. How would it all start? Yeah, I'm pretty young still, 23, two-time world champion though, and uh, fought across the world. I'm, I'm hoping to make an MMA debut. I've, I've been lined up for a few fights, uh, a few here in Edmonton and a few across Canada as well. A few back outs, I'm starting to get more and more anxious. Uh, Training just the same either way. Alright, so how did it all start? Were you bullied in school or how did you get into martial arts? Martial arts? Um, no, my friend had started with, uh, with Iron Tiger before I did and uh, being a best friend and someone I Out of out. Ontario, right? Yeah, in Ontario. And being my best friend, someone I hang out with every day, what else am I going to do, right? He had his first fight and I, uh, I wanted to hang out with him all the time and he's training every day. So naturally I just kind of went in and uh, and uh, actually, Lynn Homogene, he, he takes everyone in so nicely and you, you become, you feel like you're at home so fast and easily, it's, it became just no time before I was there every day. And okay, it was Muay Thai first, correct? Yeah, yeah Muay Thai first, okay. Iron Tiger, baby. World okay. champ, you corner people, you train, you compete, um, also do a little bit of teaching. What does it mean to you to be able to pass on that knowledge to other people? I'm in my about eighth year of training and learning and fighting and and uh, for for everything I've learned, it's it's a dream to pass it on now. Is this it's, something you can see yourself doing getting old or? Oh yeah, I'm gonna die in this game. <laughs> whether whether I die fighting or in the game somehow, or as an old man watching it, I'm I'm here to the end. I mean, fast growing in Canada, um, Edmonton's a huge part in that. What do you have to say about our scene so far? I wanted to get into it. Well, uh, yeah, you're right. Edmonton is, is by far the biggest, it, it's the fight capital of Canada. It's the biggest scene, has the big most amount of fights, most, I wouldn't say most amount of fighters per capita. I think Ontario is bigger, but yeah, there's no professional. Guys, no, as for fighters. Oh. There's a lot of, there's tons and tons of good, good fighters in Ontario. I think Edmonton's actually saturated with, uh, with, not such good fighters. Decent, but it, it's it's oversaturated with not such good guys, right? As for Ontario not having it as a as a legalized pro sport, this is why I came to Edmonton. Okay, well now that's kind of in sanction and whatnot, gonna have the opportunity to grow there. Do you see yourself going back or staying in? I I see myself staying here for a while. I uh, I've I've created a a bit of an amateur team and uh, actually two. Two bad men are going down to uh, to Calgary for for a big tournament, amateur. What's uh, coming up when? This this weekend, September eighteenth. Jamie Gifford and Sean Whitehall. Watch out represent. for that. One. All right. Um, advice for noobs. Now, your your boys that you just talked about, Jamie and Sean, they uh, they're new to it, obviously. Um, first fights, so or they've never competed amateur. Jamie's or three and one with. Uh, with two knockouts, and uh, Sean, I think, has two fights. So uh, they're still young, still only a few fights, but uh, both of them train harder than almost anyone I know, and they actually have been pushing me very, very hard. So they've been helping me get ready for this uh, debut. Hopefully, it's going to be very, very soon. Save them to get them prepped for it. Advice for that's 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 the one thing within this sport when you have when you're surrounded by people that are as passionate as you are I really don't have to push these boys at all they're in this sport because they want to be and they know what it takes and they push themselves so hard I really don't have to I just I, I'm here to uh, to give them the technique and the proper guidance and they actually push me so that's that that makes my job very very easy but as in for what to tell them just pass on what I've learned all right, so in the event that they're successful, which we obviously hope for, um, they're going to credit you. Who do you have to credit for your success thus far? Uh, get Alin Homogen, my coach, manager, mentor. Um, I have tons and tons of other people aside from that. Many, many people surrounding me, fighters and non-fighters. I've, I've always been supported by, by all my friends and family, which I'm very graceful for, grateful for. And... Uh, but uh, most most importantly, my mom um, helped. <laughs> Shout out to mom. 
Yeah, that's the mom. She, she supported me the, the whole time, right from the very, very beginning, even when uh, there was, there, there was uh, being, becoming a champion or a world champion wasn't in sight at all. She, she still supported me. There's tons and tons of shout outs. Um, Master Kim from Blue Dragon. That's where I'm learning some mm -hmm. songs right now. I am a stand up guy, but don't think my ground is. Uh, yeah, too dragon, shifty. let's touch on that. How is uh, seeing you win a tournament on a video? Studied you, as a matter of fact. Um, what it, how hard have you been training on your ground game? Working on that a lot? or? Well, I train everything anyway. Um, I've trained a little bit of of everything from uh, Kyoko Shin Karate to Muay Thai to Jiu Jitsu, Judo, Sambo. This is this is MMA, which is mixed martial arts, okay? And that consists of everything. So, and and with today, uh, with the internet and everything, you you can easily touch base on every sport. It's how much time and effort you put in, you're gonna get back. All right. Now, provided you get an opponent, which we hope for, it's um, only a matter of time. Is there anyone that you hope to fight? Call out. <laughs> I I don't I have I have no ambitions to fight anyone in particular right now. Um, I just want to fight anyone. I just want to get a few fights under my belt. I've uh, I had a big injury about eight months ago, and eight months is the longest time I've not fought in about eight years. So. I'm I'm so itching right now. I just want I just want to fight. I just please someone. All right. So when you do, you does it depend on your opponent whether you take it to the ground, you stand it up, or you're just gonna play it by ear, throw on one of your flying knees. Well, well, I'm I'm a stand up guy, and I'm I'm gonna keep it standing. There's there's it's it's pretty black and white right there. I'm stand up. I'm gonna keep it standing. I've, I'm, I'm learning to, to stand up though, if I do get taken down, and I'm learning to, uh, to not be able to get taken down. <laughs> but, you're, but you're not afraid if you do, right? You gotta, no. you gotta plan for that. Never afraid. You're supposed to fight at uh, Unified coming up on September 24th here. Um, that's up in the air right now. Is there any other promotion or anything else you'd like to get on the go, hopefully? Um, I, 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 was, I was very happy to, to, to fight on Unified, but yeah, it's up in the air. Uh, there's still a couple weeks left, uh, under two, but if anyone takes it, I'm in, in like Flint. Mm -hmm. As for any other promotion, again, I, I really don't care. Uh, as long as the money's right, and it, it's not a joke, then yeah, any promotion, anybody. And let's talk about your new talent here. Recently, you found out <laughs> about uh, something, well, you said you've been dreaming about doing it for a few years now, and finally you did it. And it's on video. It? Tell us about it. Uh, I found out I can break a bat by kicking it. No, just one. <laughs> Made it look real easy, I might add. Actually, it was a lot easier than what I what I had expected. And uh, soon enough, I plan to go for the record. Which, which is? 38 bats in 60 seconds. Oh! Now you must be doubling some of them up, or no? Uh, I don't know. It's it's obviously going to take some conditioning. Nobody can just jump in and, and do that. I'm I'm going to have to break a few more bats and learn about how to do it properly. But contact Guinness. <laughs> contact Guinness. I think I can pull it off though. Right. I'm sure watch, I can pull it off. Watch out for that then. And lastly, if you could give anyone in the world, dead or alive, your flying knee, who would it be? Ah, oh, this is a great question. If I give anyone my flying knee. It would be the chicken from Family Guy, the one, the one that Peter fights. Because that boy takes the heaviest beating, he takes a beating for days on end. If I can put him out with a flying knee, there's nobody that can handle it. Fair enough. Versatile, like you're, not unlike yourself here. So, alright, well, thanks for talking on this, Shane. Look forward to seeing you fight your MMA debut coming up real soon. Anyone? Contact this guy.